Are you ready to learn how to pin insects on a spreading board and use this special insect tape and insect pins in order to help your insect cure into these positions for a great bug box? Let's get started. Wisconsin, June. So that means the insects are not that large yet. They're still pretty small, but they're gonna get bigger. So we're gonna be pinning insects and let's talk about one of our finds, which was a bunch of moths. And we're gonna pin oh, size three, size two, size one, and size double zero. You pick a different pin head size because the thickness of this pin needs to fit inside the insect, support the weight of the insect. And if I took a size three pin and put it inside one of these small insects or this tiny guy here, it would just break the insect in half. So you pick, um, and insect pins go up, I think to like a size eight or 10. So they get really, really thick because obviously larger size insects. My go-to size is a size two, and that's what we're gonna use for this guy. So these I'm just gonna pop back in my holder here. This is our pinning block. We'll use this in a minute. This height on the pin, and this is um, just so you can have an insect and his labels all on one pin nicely spaced out. That's the purpose of the pinning block. Now, what do we know about this insect? We know this is a feed. It's even with the other side. And again, the paper doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want it near the base of the wing. And again, pull tight. And I pull tight and do it near the base of the wing because, and here I was naughty, I forgot to do it. Do you see this little little bump right there? See how it's going down and up? See that little bump right there? It just doesn't look as nice if you have those. So it is better to get a good tight grip and I didn't on this one so we're gonna adjust. Let's get it out of the way and just we're gonna do this one more time. This one a little closer, there we go. There we go. Okay, lovely. How long does it have to sit here to cure? You know, a day or two is great, but a day or two is great because what can happen is it will bend and it will go back into another position if you don't let it cure for a day or two and then that's all that time and all that work wasted. So just let it sit in the box for a day or two. You have um, to cover it, put it in a sealed environment because you don't want an insect like a fly to come and lay her eggs on it. And then you open it in two days and put it in the box. You know, have maggots in your box, which has happened to us. So we're gonna protect it and put it back in the airtight insect container we have. So we're gonna do the same process we did here on a spreading board. We're gonna try to do on, so I picked a little beetle out. And now, can we pin the beetle? Absolutely. Here's our little beetle. I will have to look up what kind of, that's a carrion beetle or a carpet beetle. I'm not sure, I've gotta look it up. Um, you can't really see the dots and details on it. It's not um, that bright in here. There he is, there he goes. Sharpen him out again. So what's the point? Um, you'll notice that here, he is flat. He has little legs that I'm grabbing him by. Did our camera get out of focus? It sure did. There he is. He has little legs there. See that? And he's flat. So we can put him on a tip because I don't want to crack him in half with a pin that might be too small. So again, I have um, cotton paper specifically made for tags, but I cut a bunch of little triangles. And this is strictly for the purpose of pinning 
one of these little creatures. So I have grabbed the paper, I'm gonna get my insect block, pop it through so it's the correct height. And now we're going to glue the insect onto the paper. And you might be wondering what kind of glue we use for this. Now this is very technical glue, it's very complicated. Um, there's a variety of brands you can get. I do not yet have a preference. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you rapid dry, cheap, clear nail polish. For this box, we've been using another inexpensive <laughs> base coat, top coat, nail polish. Yes, this is how you get the insects to stick. When a leg comes off and I have to reattach it or a wing, we just use clear nail polish. Pop that one little very light drop, very light drop. Grab your insect and encourage him on the paper. Oops, this happens. I'm a lefty, so this way is a little easier for me. There we go. And so you want to pin, I think it's on the right. I may have to look it up this way. Now he's pinned. Thumbs up, emoji face, heart. You can do that. My mama wakes up real early in the morning getting ready to make a treat for me. She knows I love to fill them up in my tummy. Her special pancakes that are just for me. I want to eat some pancakes with you. Don't you know it? Pancakes with you. I want to share some pancakes with you, with you, love you. She takes an egg, a cup of flour and milk. Them all together, spoon just like silk. She adds a pinch of salt. Yeah, some you do that. I don't know what that's supposed to do. You want to eat some pancakes with me? Don't you know it? Pancakes with you. I want to share some pancakes with you. With you, love you. In a bowl, mama sprinkles in the chocolate chips. The pan's getting warm, just wait for them. From the batter to the ladle to become a pancake. I can't wait to have some. I can't wait to have some. You want to eat some pancakes with me? Don't you know it? Pancakes with you. I want to share some pancakes with you. With you, love you. Sometimes mom has blueberries, peaches, or jam. She likes them with bananas, I prefer M&M's. She pours in the mixture, counting one, two, three. Then she sings a song she made just for me. You wanna eat some pancakes with me? Don't you know it? Pancakes with you, I wanna share some pancakes with you. 